picked out trucks, tuner rides, supercars, and old schoolers. Where can you find them? Well, a lot of them are here in the 28th running of the Transport Show in the SMX Convention Center. And with me now is our resident aftermarket guy, Joe Zaltoveros. So, Joe, what are we expecting in this year's show? Hello, everyone. Today, we can expect to see the latest trends, both in cosmetic and performance upgrades, as well as you can see the, some of the bulletproof cars inside. There are even some cl fully restored classics as well, each for everyone's taste. So that's enough of our talking and it's time to head inside then. Hi guys, today we're at the Import Hookup booth and we have Mr. Keith Brian Howe with us Hello. today to show us more about the cars we have at the booth. Yeah. So Keith, what do yeah, you have here? So we have five entries today. Um, the Challenger, the Wide Body Liberty Walk Challenger, then the Mini Cooper, it's wide body as well. Then we have the Ferrari 488 with the Misha Designs, the G Squared with bricks and wheels and the M3, yeah, setup M32. So tell us more about the cars. Oh, which one here is your favorite? Well, of course this one. I, I, I like I like exotic cars. So we can start off with this. Um, yeah, so the Ferrari has like a body kit, Mesha designs all carbon, bricks on wheels, 21-22s. Um, it has upgraded turbos, uh, ECU change, engine mods. Yeah, it's full options. Actually, we repainted this as well. Uh, yeah, 2018, but we the, the the paint is not nice, so we repainted it to like this color. Uh, hi guys, uh, I'm inviting you to watch uh, and uh, come see our booth in Puerto Cup in a uh, transport show this uh, today until uh, Sunday in SMX Convention Center. And so now we're chilling here at the R33 booth and with me now is the proprietor of R33 is Mr. Raymond Ronquillo himself. So Sir Raymond, um, tell us a little bit more about R33. Hello guys, uh, welcome to uh, 2019 Transport Show. Uh, R33 cars started at 2003. Uh, right now we're showcasing 11 cars. Uh, showcasing all of them para to people, to, to, let, to let the people know na binibenta namin yung mga kotse. To attract, uh, to attract more uh, car enthusiasts. Uh, we're inviting you to visit the uh, 2019 Transport Show. Uh, visit our booth. We have uh, cars not available locally. Mga uh, modded cars, uh, mga sineramic ng R-Spec. May mga suited up Manila. Kompleto tayo. Uh, visit kayo sa R33 Cars booth. Uh, we're inviting you to visit our shop in uh, Saverville Avenue. It's it's near uh, Ateneo and uh, Miriam College in uh, Saberville Avenue. R33 cars. I'm here now with one of the country's top automotive restorers, Mr. Alex Bisip himself. And uh, sir, can you tell us a little bit more about Alex Car Restoration? Uh, Alex Car Restoration is a, a car restoration shop and uh, we also customize uh, cars. We also have a collision and, and body painting. My shop is at uh, Queso City, 66 Roosevelt, San Francisco Del Monte, Queso City. Uh, I'm inviting everyone to watch our display here in Transport Show here at, at SMX. Uh, this is our display, the 65 Mustang Fastback. It's a Resto Mod uh, Mustang. This year's 
Spanish transport show wouldn't be possible with the help of a lot of people. And one of them is Miss Sophie de los Santos. Now, Miss Sophie, what do you think of this year's roster of the transport show? Very, um, I, I, I find it fantastic this year because I think this is the first time that I have uh, more than, I think I have uh, more than 10 exotic super supercars here for this year. And it's, uh, it's not all the time that I have uh, supercars in my show, as you can see here, <laughs> plus all, all other cars there in front of me, yes. And um, we've been doing this for the past 28 years. Um, what are we looking forward to in year 29 in the big trio? You know, I, what I want to see on our 30th uh, is that to see more vintage and classic cars but then come back. Because uh, the past uh, couple of years, it has been dwindling. I think uh, I have to re-educate or encourage again the auto shop restorers to go back into uh, restoring uh, classic and vintage cars. Because the tagline for Transport Show has always been the car show which spans generations of car enthusiasts. So I know we have to evolve because we have exotic supercars right now, but I, I would like the car enthusiasts to also go back to the heritage of a classic cars. And uh, Ms. Sophie, any message for our viewers? You know you should not miss Transport Show because Every year we have a different set of show or project vehicles. So what you see right now, 80% you won't see next year. It will always be a different set of show vehicles. So come May 25th or 26th, uh, transport show. And you heard it from the lady herself, folks. Come swing by this year's transport show. So we wrap up this year's coverage of the transport show here at the Auto Industria booth and coincidentally it's featuring one of my childhood heroes, the Toyota Chaser and just as a couple more things to say about it. Yes, so if you're wondering what this car is, the Toyota Chaser was not actually offered in the country. It was only sold in Japan and that's why it's a very rare car to see on the road. This car is built for the street but it's also good for drifting on the weekends or for hitting your track. Essentially, that covers our 2019 transport show, and we hope you'll enjoy this video. If you like this video, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't hesitate to drop a comment below as well. And also, you can follow us on our social media feeds like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And this is Anton Andres. This is Jose Aldaveros. And thank you for watching.